The crowd has been waiting for this one for a very long time. We're at Brooklyn Hall. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around. King Rai, Ryan Garcia. They also call him Flash. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Some of the fastest hands in all of boxing. The hitman, Ricky Hatton. This all-time great welterweight, one of the most beloved fighters in English boxing history. You can hardly hear yourself speak. The fans are going mad for this. Couldn't agree with you more, Johnny. Here we go. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner from Victorville, California, here is the exciting boxing sensation. Introducing King Rai, Ryan. Garcia fighting out of the blue corner introducing from Manchester England a popular and exciting junior welterweight and welterweight champion of the world here is Ricky Hitman Hatton all the talking has been done it's time to start doing the walking this is it this is that place this is that all that right. fight venue this is the place where the action you happens take yourself at all times and what I say you must obey. Good luck. Here we go, round one. Who's going to land the first big shot? So that left lands. crowd has settled into their seats. They are ready to see something special at this amazing venue. God, I love theaters for all these reasons. You can hear everybody in the crowd. You can hear the punches. The punches that you echo. If you're that fighter coming in and you know you're in such an, an intense atmosphere, you know the pressure is going to be on. Exchanges from both men in this round. Missed him with that uppercut. And he misses with the left uppercut. Lucky to have avoided that uppercut. Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Which fighter is winning this bout? So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do Which fighter's going to get caught first? He takes that jab. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You are fighting the swarmer. Be smart, be sharp, concentrate, but you've got to be confident. Do not dance his dance because that swarmer, once you do that, you give him a man a chance that shouldn't have one. Nice 
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. Oh, that punch. Johnny, I love watching these lighter fighters just based on the hand speed and the foot movement. So impressive to watch. Oh my goodness, what pace, what pace. They're like, do you know what a Yorkshire Terrier is, Tom? That's, they're like little Yorkshire Terriers. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. winning this fight right now. I have no idea. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Fighter's gonna get clipped first. Oh, what a punch! That's a score in left hand. would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain man. Big dance partner. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. <laughs> this is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable. Oh, you're so calm, so cool. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. This fight is closer than two pages and a book, Johnny. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Who's going to be the first one to get rocked? Perfect punch. Misses with that jab. <laughs> this fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw portions to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? He didn't take that jab well at all. Oh, and he 
caught him with a stiff jab. Got him with a left jab. the phrase finding a second win i don't think i need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Yep. this round could go either way 10 seconds to go <laughs> this fight could not be any closer could it johnny so important the referee's got to do his fight right he's got to judge his right he's got to do his job right so important now Be buzzed first. Just misses with the right uppercut. Good left hand. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way, and they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. figure out the combination to this safe. Left shot lands. Right punch. is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. This can be so frustrating when you remember such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Either way, every round is so important. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. Hey, those punches add up. Fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Midweight through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're gonna find out. they go neither fighter willing to back down so far it seems like aggression has been the key this fighter just not slowing down I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. 
the strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch. They want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. We about to see Ryan Garcia go to the... This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Round seven, here we go. Good punch. Jab. If you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw, it's about how many you land and how hard they are. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. One punch could change everything in this battle. a right hand. Solid punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Fight is closer than two pages and a. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. You hear people talking about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You could hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a kiss. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. What a punch. and his knees buckled that time. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw, look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Lucky to have avoided that left uppercut. He missed with that jab. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. First one to get rocked. The 
got out of the way of that right hook. You've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. I just deal with this. You gotta hope, you gotta hope they went out of steam. Why aren't they defending? Just misses right up your cup. Changes from both men in this round. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off the tech and everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to sort of watch you out, box a fight and beat them on points. Jab to the body, trying to wear him down. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Who's He's gonna be the first one to get caught. that right uppercut. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Back to life now, starting to land some punches. Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. That punch lands. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Right now the flash is seeing flashes after that shot. I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. So important, the referee's gotta do his fight right. He's gotta judge this right, he's gotta do his job right. Start 11. Oh, look at that left jab. And so far, the offense has been better than the defense.
how nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. You watch that jab. flashes after that shot. And finally, he couldn't take any more. And down goes Garcia. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're out. It happened. You saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. Well, there's no argument right there. Not that you say it. Night, night.